Hey there, Diesel First. Today I'm going to show you how you can find those really annoying or even sometimes scary engine noises that might be coming from your car. And I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do this on this 2001 Dodge Dakota with a 3.9 liter V6 engine. Now before I turn on the engine, uh, let's talk about what the sound is like. Uh, the sound we hear from this engine is basically a clunking or a clacking or a rattling noise and it's more pronounced when the car is in gear or when we turn on the AC. And it also goes up and down in frequency with the RPM. Alright, let's hear it. Let's get our AC going. Now I'm going to put the car in gear, that way you guys can really hear it. Alright, so some of you probably already know what's the most likely cause of this noise, but for those of you that don't know, let's go over what you can do to pinpoint the source of the noise. So for around 10 bucks, you can get a pair of uh, mechanics stethoscopes at your local auto parts store. And these work fantastic. They come with this uh, probe that I've managed to bend out of shape trying to get into difficult to reach areas on the engine. But uh, one could also say that they work a little too well for a beginner because, uh, you know, when you put this on the engine, you're going to hear more than one noise. And it's going to require a trained ear to listen for the noise on the engine that you hear while you're standing back and listening to the engine. But if you practice with this a little bit, maybe you uh, try it on a car that's making the noise and then try it like, uh, on another car that's not making any noise, uh, you should be able to use this pretty efficiently. And the way you use this is basically with the engine running and while you hear the noise, uh, you go around and put it on the different components of the engine where you suspect the noise could be coming from. For example, we hear the noise more when we got the AC compressor on, so it would, be, uh, it would make sense to put this on the AC compressor with the engine running. And you might want to get close to the pulley as you can, that way you might be able to hear the noise more. But again, make sure you, put it, you don't put it on any moving parts, like on the pulleys or uh, you know, don't get it near the belt because that could cause some damage to your stethoscope or your belt or other engine components. So for example, if we were suspecting the noise coming from our tensioner, we could get this stethoscope down here and get it on the back of the tensioner itself. And that would be a good spot for, to check for that noise if you suspect a tensioner, but it's gonna require you being very careful and also having pretty steady hands. Or let's say you were suspecting the noise coming from your top end or maybe your valves were making the noise. You can get this on the valve cover, but also uh, like on this car, if the noise is coming from this side, you can just take off that oil cap. And if you hear the noise more, then you've kind of narrowed it down to this side, to this top end side of the engine. Also, if you suspect your fuel injectors making the noise, you can use this to get on the fuel injectors and listen to them ticking and compare all of them. And the one that's really loud, that could potentially be the one that's making the noise. Or you can just uh, disconnect your, the connectors for your fuel injectors. And if the noise goes away, then you've narrowed it down to the whatever fuel injector that you just disconnected. Now, if you don't want to buy a stethoscope, you can just use a long screwdriver. And you would use this in a similar fashion. You put it on different components on the engine, then you put your ear next to it, and that's gonna help you hear the noise. Now this is a solid piece, so you wanna be a lot more careful when using a screwdriver, because if you hit any of these pulleys, it could potentially knock this loose out of your hand, and then this could either do some damage to your engine, or come flying at you and do some damage to you. So be very careful if you decide to use a long screwdriver. Now with the symptoms we have, which are uh, noise going up and down with the RPM, and also we hear the noise more with the compressor clutch engaged, or when the car is in gear, uh, it usually means that there's a problem with one of the pulleys or the bearing for one of these components up front that's controlled by our uh, serpentine or drive belts. And the reason we hear the noise more when we got the car in gear is that simply there's, your engine vibrates more when it's in gear, and uh, that vibration, if you got a bad pulley or a bad bearing, it's gonna cause that to wobble more, make more noise, and that's why you hear the noise more uh, when it's in gear. There's also extra drag on the belt when you, do, when you do those things, and that could also mean why you hear the noise more. Now on this car, we have pretty easy access to our compressor, so we're just gonna turn the clutch. I mean, it's turning pretty smoothly. I don't feel anything. Also, this pulley doesn't feel loose at all, but it could just be the belt holding it in place. So what we're gonna do next is to remove this belt and then inspect all our pulleys closely. And on this car, removing this belt is gonna be pretty easy. All we have to do is just get our wrench on here, turn our tensioner uh, clockwise, and then remove our belt. And if you're doing this for the first time, make sure you have the diagram of the, how the belt is routed before you take it off. There we go. 
All right, let's try this again. There's a little bit of moving, but uh, it's not that bad. I don't think that's it. Is there alternator pulley or tensioner? Tensioner uh, pulley is good too. Then we found our problem. <laughs> this Eller pulley sounds awful. And here's a closer look. Yep, that's got a bad bearing for sure. Quite a bit of uh, play too. All right, great, looks like we found our problem, but uh, in order to be 100% sure, we're gonna get in the car, turn on the engine, and then put the car in gear like before. And if the noise is not there anymore, then that's uh, for sure, it means that's what was making the noise, because you could have a bearing in one of these pulleys, but you could also have a second uh, component that's bad, and it's the second component that's making the noise. So in order to be sure, we're gonna test and verify. And now that we have verified our diagnosis, all we have to do is just remove this 15 millimeter bolt and replace this pulley. There we go. Just make sure you don't drop any washers while you're taking this out. And here's how a bad bearing sounds like. $25 later, here's a look at our new uh, idler with our new bearing. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw this back in. Next it's time to put our belt on, and it's a very good idea to mark uh, which direction the belt is turning when you take it off, especially if, you, since if you're gonna reuse it, you need to put it in the same way. And the easiest way to put this on is to start at the bottom where your harmonic balancer is, and then you go around all the pulleys counterclockwise, and your tensioning roller is gonna be the last pulley you put the belt over. There we go. That's all there is to it folks. If you like this video, please consider checking out some of my other videos. I'll put up on the screen as video links so you can just click on it. Also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more like it. Thanks for watching, see you next time.